What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video of possibly the best campground to stay at while visiting Yosemite National Park. Let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. All right, this is a thousand trails in Hardin Flat, California. Over to the left here, we have a building that they are working on. Um, if you can see, there's people sitting over here. That is where you're gonna get the Wi-Fi here. Do not buy the Wi-Fi um, at this thousand trail. It does not work. Um, per people telling me, we didn't try it. But if you come over here to the building, you will get um, some complimentary Wi-Fi and it works, it works. That's all I can say is it gets text messages and some um, searches, Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever, things like that. But you, you, you can get calls a little bit. But anyway, over here, you have the Yosemite Wi-Fi complimentary. Go over there, you can get your internet needs for free don't pay for it here over to the right here you have the um, building that you'll go for registration and the laundry room the registration and laundry room all right here is the laundry facility your quarter machines. Half of them are out of order. Little wash sink, little wall of dryers. Gets the job done. Let's go down and check out the campground, which has 490 sites for members and non members. All right, as you pull in, you'll see on the left you have a park, you have some volleyball courts, uh, basketball nets, and a little putt-putt area. And in here is supposed to be the members only area. Um, if you can get here at a decent time, there's some nice spots I'm gonna show you down along the river, uh, but those do come at a little bit of a cost and not money cost, I will get to that. Over here to the right is a bunch of pull-in sites. Um, don't forget Thousand Trails, most of them are first come, first serve. So if you can get here and you want to pull through, you got to come early and come to this side over here to the right. Okay, if you come in, turn to the right. Um, you have a couple rows here of full hookup sites and they are pull through. Don't forget though, a thousand trails is first come, first serve. Let's head down and check out the river sites. All right, as you can see here, um, right past the stop sign at the bottom of the hill, this is probably one of the best sites here due to the fact that it has a massive front yard here. Um, from this RV to our RV, that is all of their space. So they have a massive front yard right there. All right, if you look here, you have um, bathrooms. There is a whole row of showers here and a whole row of showers here and um, personal bathrooms here with a toilet, shower, sink, and everything all in one. All right, and here is where the uh, river campsites start, but they start out as tent sites. So you have a bunch of tent sites here along the river, and then it fades into um, sites for RVs. But you have this beautiful river down here, and there is trout in here. Um, we did catch, um, five trout the day we fished in here for a couple hours um, so it was really awesome fresh trout right here in the river behind the campsites all right let's head on down and take a look at our campsite
this is our site here. It's a really nice site. That's a really nice river spot. Um, if you carry on and continue down here, it will loop around to the right. And this is all riverside spots back here. Only some of these are 50 amp. And then the other ones turn to 30. Um, you go down around, you got all these river spots. They get a little smaller and tighter down there, but a little more quiet, um, I guess you could say from the park. Uh, then it just loops around and then you have some cabins um, in that loop as well. But here's our site. All right, as I was saying, this is our spot and it does come with access to the river, um, which is totally awesome. You can come right down. This river is swimmable. Um, it has a small current, nothing extreme. You do have fresh trout in here. There is a walking path on this other side here. So if you go all the way down to the end and cross a bridge, you can actually take a hike back there. I do not know where it goes. I didn't have time to hike that. But yeah, you have riverfront access here. And like I said, this does have trout running through it. We have caught trout out of here. And like I was saying earlier, this river spot that we have, um, that we all have down through here, does come with an extra price. And that is not the price in money. That is the price as in be ready to have all sorts of people walking directly through your campsite to get to this river. I get it, everybody wants to get to the river and fish and have fun and, and do their thing. But that's kind of why some of us get here really early is to get the good spots on the river so we can come back here and relax and enjoy, watch the fish, there's ducks, there's uh, all sorts of wildlife back here, you know? So you do have to be ready for that. Now, I have seen people walk straight through their yard uh, straight through their yards to get down to the river and they will come down here and use the picnic tables that are not meant for them but yet for the person that has that campsite um, they will sit down with their chairs and fishing poles and music and everything and they will take your picnic table and they will make it theirs for the day of fishing now one could always say something to them and hey this is mine whatever but just something to be mindful of and be prepared if you get one of these river spot spots you will have people walking all through your campsites and all down through here just to walk along the river with their animals and everything so just be prepared that is the price you're gonna pay if you get one of these awesome river spots there is access to this river um, in multiple locations besides people's campsites. Um, but I don't think it is, um, I don't think that that is something that's told to guests that there is access to the river besides through the campsites. So um, some people have an issue with it, some people don't. I guess it's just all about uh, what you think. All right, and like I said, besides people walking through your campsite, to access the river. Um, this is a very cool, awesome campground. Um, it's pretty big. There is a whole section of cabins. There's a whole section of yurts and things like that you can rent and stay in. There's a really nice park for the kids to play at. They have volleyball, um, basketball, tennis, um, even a putt-putt course up there. You can uh, access all for free and play. This is the playground, volleyball, basketball, putt putt horseshoes all sorts of activities right here in this area very cool you can swim in the river you can fish the river um it's a really nice place overall it gets really busy on the weekends but during the week it's pretty quiet and laid back and uh really enjoyable i would recommend this place um if you're out this way to stop if you're a thousand trails 
uh, member, definitely it's worth a stay. The laundry room is decent. I've had really dirty ones and I've had really nice ones. This is in between, you know, it's, it's okay. Half the machines are out of order, but I'm sure there's an issue with getting parts with all the shipping problems. Um, and don't forget, these are all first come, first serve. So get here early, get a good spot. Um, I should also mention too, that you have no service here at this campground. So you won't, unless you have some kind of massive booster or your own satellite service of some sort, uh, you will not get any service here. So you will have to go up and use the complimentary or there is a couple points where they tell you in their brochure or on their map that they give you when you pull in. There is a couple points down the road that you can drive to and they do have 4G or 3G LT service. So um, you will not have service here. Um, most of the park will have service though. So. All right, now that I have talked about the campground, let's go see what mom says. Mom, yeah, what do you think about the campground? Uh, I like it. <laughs> okay, we'll do that again some other time. All right, that's going to do it for today, you guys. We hope you liked our video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.